Hi, third graders. This is Miss Smith. I hope that you and your family are doing well during this time. I'm self-quarantining in my house, so I hope that you guys are all staying safe and staying inside. So this video is here to help you understand how virtual learning works. I'll be going through a few different things about virtual learning so that you, I can answer any of the questions that you might have. And of course, you can reach out to me if you have any additional questions. So this is a virtual learning parent guide in English. There's also a Spanish and a Creole translated version. This document serves as a one-stop shop for all things that you need. Um, this would be Miss Christian and I's information, but I blocked that out because this is a video that will be online. But here you will have any MDCPS updates, one of which is very important, is that students must log into their portal once a day, and I'll go over that in a little bit. Um, any Jesse J or homeroom updates. This week is Spirit Week. Again, we're going over attendance. And this here is also very important. It's a how-to guide in accessing virtual learning programs. Um, it tells you how to get on iReady, Myon, Imagine Learning, Microsoft Teams, Reflex, Go Math, and BrainPop. This is our daily ske class schedule. Um, it tells you when to get on to reading and math iReady or Imagine Learning and where to look at items for Microsoft Teams or in your Go Math book. It also tells you your daily schedule for specials, okay? This is a weekly framework for mindfulness and all these links that you can, you will be able to click into um, after you have received the link. This is your reading instruction plan. It tells you every day of what you are to do, most of which your work is on Microsoft Teams. And again, these links you can click into to watch the videos. Here is our third grade math lesson. It tells you our standard, your lesson, the videos that you should be watching for the engage and explore that helps to introduce the topics. Then your student practice, your you do, is on your Go Math book under things to do, which I will explain in just a second. And then your I Ready lessons for the day would be assigned in blue. There are also some lesson resources for you to help guide you in your learning and that is our virtual learning parent guide so all of this is here for you it's your week's worth of lessons and it will be updated every monday but you use the same link Good morning, guys. This is Miss Christian. I miss you guys so much. Um, we have been communicating through the phone over the phone uh, by Microsoft Teams through text messages. We're gonna continue communicating that way until we meet again. So a lot of you are having issues with Microsoft Teams, so I'm gonna walk you through that step by step. So pay close attention. Are you guys ready? Here we go. Stop it. Good morning, students. <laughs> um, I miss you guys. I know we're going through a difficult time, but this this will pass soon and we'll be back at school again. Now I noticed that a lot of you are having difficulty logging into Microsoft Teams. So I'm gonna walk you through it again step by step. So the first thing I needed to do is to go to log um the Type in dateschools.net here. And then, just like what you were going to do, you already log on to students. Put in your pass, your username. So I'm going to type in a username now. Okay, and you're going to put your password in. All right, so now you're on your portal. 
Once you get to your portal, you're going to go here where it says Office 365. You're going to click on Office 365. And then you're going to go here and you're going to type in your... This part is very important, so pay close attention. You're going to type in your ID number. Now, this part is where most people are having problems. Once you type in the ID number, you're going to type you're going to click shift the shift button and the number two at the same time you're trying to get this right here that you're trying to get this sign right here see this sign at the top you're trying to get that sign right there so you have to click you have to press the shift on your keyboard and the two at the same time and it should look like that right now you're going to put Dade, D-A-D-E-S-C-H-O-O-L-S, -S, the dot sign here. Then you're going to type in N-E-T, right? Then you're going to type in your password, just like you normally would, your regular password. Uh oh, let's take this off. What's that? Let me go back. So you're going to type in your password. Sorry, let me do that again. What? So now you should see a page that looks like this, right? Now, this, here you go. This is where Teams, you're going to click on Teams right here. This is where your work is, all right, in Microsoft Teams. <clears throat> okay, once you click on Team, I need you to pay close attention again. Once you click on Team, this might come up. You're just going to click this. Got, got it. That's it. Once you click on Teams, you're going to see all the folders that you have. You're going to see all the folders that you have in Microsoft team. Okay. Now the folder that you're going to go in is my folder, which says Christian third grade PM, or you might say third grade AM if you're in AM class. All right. So you're going to click on my folder. Once you click on my folder, this part is important. You see where you have post right here at the top post. Yes, this post allows me to send you messages and it also allows you to send messages. Okay, now you're only going to send appropriate messages pertaining to the work, um, how you're doing with the work, if you're having any, um, if you have any questions pertaining to something that opening up or even just a discussion, we can do it here through post. All right, you're not just going to have any casual conversation here. No, that's not for it. This is for our assignment so we can talk back and forth with each other about the assignment all right so you look at post first thing look to see if i post anything for the day all right look to see if i post anything for the day so yesterday you see that i added an assignment that's going to be here in the assignment box but everything that i add whether it's assignment or just a message i'm sending it's going to show up here where it says post now, are you going to do the assignment from post? No, unless I put a link or something. You're going to go here where it says assignments. Okay, this is where all your assignments for me will be. So if you look at it, you see, I put assignments for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Uh, Microsoft team won't allow me to put the days, so it, but it allows me to put the date. So if you look yesterday, this, these two assignments were due yesterday. Now, can you still complete your assignment after the due date? Yes. Try to see if you can complete it by Friday. Okay. Then the assignment that is due today, you see, it says due today. So it tells you each day when your assignment is due. All right. And then tomorrow, this one is due tomorrow. Both of these are due tomorrow. And then on Thursday. 
So once you log in, there is going to be a note that says, thank you for logging into your portal. Your attendance has been recorded. Make sure you see this every day when you log in and you should be logging in every day because you are assigned iReady and GoMath lessons. So let's go to iReady. You would click the iReady icon and I already have it up. This is what you would see. There are teacher assigned lessons. Those are the ones that you do in blue for math. Once you have completed those, then you can go to the lessons that are in your pathway. The difference is these are third grade level lessons that can be graded and your pathway lessons are to build you up to the third grade lessons. Once you have logged in, you are gonna scroll down to your mathematics grade three e-textbook. You're gonna click the textbook and you're gonna see something called things to do. And also my library and my scores. What we're focusing on is things to do. In things to do, you have all your lessons that are assigned for this week. I made it easy by putting the dates on these lessons. So today is Tuesday. So you are going to be focusing on describing angles and plain shapes, doing the homework for that lesson, and then again, going through the Go Math, describing angles and plain shapes. These are to be completed. Here's the due date. What you're gonna do is you're gonna click the sign that you're working on for the day, and it will give you some directions on how to start. How can you describe angles in plain shapes? So they are all interactive so that you can complete those assignments. I'm gonna go back and click a different assignment. So here's a lesson that will give you some directions It'll tell you what to do, and then you would click start. When you are done, you're gonna click done, and you're going to have your score being shown. But until then, just continue to do your lessons and things to do, and I will check them periodically. Parents and students, I hope that going over the virtual parent guide Link was helpful for you in understanding what information is on there and how to access virtual learning and seeing the step-by-step -step lesson plans that Ms. Krish and I have put on the link and then also going through iReady and understanding the difference between the assigned lessons that are in blue versus the pathway lessons as well as accessing the Go Math book. Now, I hope that you guys are all staying safe and continue to self-quarantine. Please reach out to myself or Ms. Christian if you have any questions. We are here to help during this time. We want it to be easy and clear and just allow your child to still be learning at home. Stay safe, bye.